We really struggled with our oldest child. Um, my oldest child um, is now nine, she's nearly ten. But when she started school, um, you know, they suspected her with dyslexia and everything else. And as parents, you, you want to help your children, and it just we struggled immensely. And as our first child, we just didn't know what to do or where to go. So um, when my boy started, um, we really wanted to make sure that they were set up from the word go. So for us, it was just about making sure that we knew what we were doing and we could help them. And and um, and here was a session that you know said they could help us. So we went along. I think the biggest thing about that Read Together program was whether or not it was just another program. Because there's reading in school. Why would we want to have a Read Together program? And also, we're, um, because we're both teachers, we read to our kids anyway. But <coughs> because reading is such a really vital and important part of our, of our whānau, and it's um, something that we push, and because we are educators and we are um, looking after kids who are what we say they haven't had a good start off in school. Yeah, it's, a, it's one of the key things to learning and also success in life, you know, for that. You know, the students can't read or write. And they're at a huge loss of opportunity. One of the key things for me was that I'd forgotten how, how difficult it can be to read and that because I am a reader, I assume that, why don't you know this? Why can't you read that? And that at a part through the, through the program where they're reading that bizarre language, the made up words, and, and it clicked for me how uh, how people develop language of reading and, and how they interpret this stuff. Reminding me that I need to be aware that not everybody has that capacity to read or learn at that particular level and that there needs to be an underlying understanding by the person reading with the, with the child to know that the, not everybody has those mm. building blocks. So that was uh, pretty basic but a really important understanding for me. I think from day one for me it was um, you don't have to be the teacher. You're not a teacher, so you don't have to teach. And I thought that that was just so cool, like, yeah, because I definitely couldn't do that. And um, it was instruction. I think it was more the instruction that you were getting, and it just seemed so basic and so easy to relate to. My husband didn't come to the first session. Um, he wasn't actually really interested in first at coming. He actually hated it. <laughs> hated the idea, oh, you go, and then you teach me. And once he came along for that second session, he was pretty much hooked. So I think, for me, the fact that Dwayne and I could actually talk about similar things and have the same goals, because we have the same goals, we want to help our children, but sometimes we might go at it different ways. This gave us a really good foundation to actually think in a similar way and do the same things and use the same techniques and, oh, that might work and let's try that. And so. For me and Dwayne, it made us stronger in terms of how we parent and do homework. It changes our way of uh, look, uh, looking at the education of our children, especially for us when you, you come from the islands. And uh, as a dad, I just go to work. Everything is to, to the mum for her to do. So when we came and we listened to the, to the group and, uh, oh, it's something that we, we have to do together to, in order to, for our children to, uh, to be successful. So we have to support uh, our, our kids together, not only the mum, but uh, as, a per as parents. I just felt, I feel more educated. I feel um, more skilled, and I've been able to teach Detroit so much. And I've got um, better listening skills too. Before I wouldn't even, um, I didn't have the patience, it definitely was a patience thing, like when he used to ask me, I oh, listen to me read my book, and I thought, oh, here we go, that's gonna be another year. But yeah, it's definitely, it's more exciting. Um, Probably because I've got the skills now. I've been given the skills and it seems more, it's, uh, it's not so tedious and it just, it's really exciting for me now. And um, I tend to, um, we do a lot more. I've known that, um, not just reading, we, we seem to be closer as in uh, just with each other, interacting with each other. It seems to be, yeah, you know, we just seem closer. Certainly in our household with Nara, the our relationship around the reading because that used to get pretty stressful. Um, Shush. Sorry. Yeah, because because <laughs> I think I, I think Lisa reads. She's a much better uh, story reader than I am, and uh, and I've, I've found my reading quite inadequate. But spending time just looking, picking up some of those cues and sitting with no and reading with him, and allowing him to read and and, mm. and using some of those cues that are presented in the program, uh, and that enables me to help him without me becoming too stressed. At, 
Gosh, he made a mistake. He needs to be doing this. You know? Because the perfectionist in me wants him to read perfectly. And um, I don't know, it just made it a more pleasant experience for me. Yeah. And I think it made, because I was happy, it made him feel better. It's made a huge impact on the way we interact with our kids in terms of homework. Um, with Alicia, it was always a real struggle to get her to learn and to do homework. Um, now we're finding that it's actually a real pleasure to sit down. It's not a chore, it's not a task. Um, books have become part of um, our home. They're sitting on the counter, they're everywhere now. Um, so for us, it's really allowed us to really, I don't know, have a stronger relationship with each of our kids. Um, we came for the boys and as a spin-off, um, our daughter got immense benefit and we had um, quite a, a couple of tearful moments as she picked up some books when she's been struggling with reading all her life and started reading by herself and quite confidently. So for us it was, it was almost that, it took the worry out of everything and it just made it really fun. And so, you know, books are just an important part of and reading and actually just the conversations we have over the books actually means that I can actually get some insight into how my children think and what, and, and trust me, there's some thought patterns there that I don't want to know about, but, but you know, it's been an absolute pleasure. We've actually joined the library, so that's a biggie. And um, the library, that going there uh, was, for, well, was actually quite scary uh, for him, but now he's getting in there. Yeah, so he's actually, you know, feeling like, oh, oh, this is actually not a bad place. Him pick his own books, whether it's, it's a cool place. big or yeah, small. Yeah, and he can like still. Yeah. And now he asks us, are we, are, are we going near the library? You know, so, oh, we'll stop it. We have, no, we'll do that, yeah. There was one moment when Joseph picked up a book, and he's only, he was only five, but he picked up, picked up the book, um, Darwin's Theory of Evolution. I don't know why he picked up that book. I think it was the pretty pictures on the front. And, um, and it's not that he could read the book, but the fact that there was you know, a series of birds with their beaks in different sizes meant that I could have a really great discussion with him around why and how birds adapt in different situations. So for, you know, to have that discussion, it's not a two minute conversation, it ends up with 20 to 30 minute conversation and you're laughing and explaining and interacting. That only makes your relationship stronger with your children. And then, and then on top of that, to have Alicia, who we didn't actually go for Alicia, to, um, there was that moment where we were reading to the boys and she picked up James and the Giant Peach and started reading it out loud hesitated over the words, but was confident enough to sit in a room, which she'd never been able to do before, and actually share that with the room and with my mother and my husband. And it was so funny, because mum stopped, and I kind of stopped concentrating on the boys while they were reading, because I was just like, oh my goodness, she's, she's reading by herself. And Dwayne was standing at the door, and we were looking at each other, and obviously, yeah, I almost cried actually at the moment. So. To have those moments where you just feel like you're so proud of your children, it's really awesome. And um, I'm going to probably cry again. <laughs> um, and then the other piece was um, my mum, who, who, who um, my daughter would hop on the bed, on her um, bed with her and my mum was dying and Leisha would read to her. So for me, it was just a really, um, yeah, I can't say anything more than that really, sorry. <laughs> you can tell he's just, He's just got a lot more confidence. Just, yeah. And actually, I'm quite confident too. So, you know, You're always I, No, I mean, you know, like I never liked reading. Cool, but lately I've been doing, you know, since we go to the library and I'll head off into the corner too, my own corner, and I could just leave him in, in the kid's corner and, you know, and just go back to him and he's still in. But he's got a, it started off with a couple of books. Now and now he's got a little pile. pile. Yeah. Well, it was no, a little pile. It's getting, now it's a yeah, huge it's, pile. Yeah, the pile's getting big. It's sort of, yeah. yeah but even if it's so just it's looking at the pictures, but he does read, no. And he's reading a lot better. I find his reading, no. He's just, he's more comfortable within himself, I think, with his reading. Because he can pick up the newspaper and something might, some face or some word might be familiar to him. And he's starting to see that. What we do is not just teaching that kid, you know, not just helping that child or that student to learn how to read. We're building a community where everyone is educated, where everyone has free access to information, and that Read Together program brings those people in, and like you said, it, it's inclusive. It doesn't matter where you come from, what language you speak, or whether you are educated or you left school early, 
or um, you know you have a disability or um, anything or it doesn't matter you can participate you can get in there and you can do it and eventually it builds a layer of community that just um, gets better and better and better sharing um, people's experiences or their ideas that was really cool and um, because there were there were there were young parents and then there were you know, older parents, late life parents or whatever, um, in that group, it, there was a big wealth of ideas. And also people were, if people were honest about how it was for them. Mm. You know, I, I found that I can be quite honest to those people because their parents, they're the same as me. They want the very best for their kids. They're going to do the best they can or whatever it takes so that they can read. But um, you just think, uh, you can become quite isolated. And there's a lot of, there were a lot of single parents there who are isolated just in their daily lives, so they weren't quite sure if they were doing it right or not. Like, I always thought that my child was the only one that didn't know this or that, but their children mm. were the same, yeah, so, nice. yeah. I wouldn't by any means say I'm kind of ill-educated or anything, but I didn't feel confident in teaching or learning, and, and um, I'm a shocking speller, and I'm a shocking, you know, like, I love reading, but I'm a shocking speller. So for me, um, it was all about that nervousness about what I could offer my children. And so this just takes all those fears away. It really involves you, it teaches you about, you know, what happens at school, what you do, and how, I, how, how you, the school becomes the teacher and I can just help create that passion for learning. You didn't have to be, you know, super brains or anything like that. You didn't have to be so fantastic. You just need to be a parent who cares and loves a child and yeah. you want to help them to read. And I think that was one of the messages came through in, in our corridor about it. That's what they talked about really strongly. Yeah.